Welcome to video lecture series on computer networks. This is as per Kerala Technological University course code CS306. In the session, we deal with module 5. As per the ISO OSI reference model, the third layer is the network layer. This module is all about the various protocols of network layer, network layer namely IP internet protocol, ICMP internet control message protocol, then and some other very important protocols that function along with IP for the functioning of internet. So let's start with ICMP first. ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. Have you ever thought how this internet is working? Is there any local or global administrator who look after the error happening inside the network? What would happen if some error happens? It is a responsibility of the router to find and report such error with the help of ICMP protocol. So, this what is ICMP? ICMP works along with internet protocol to provide some sort of diagnostics and control information. It does the delivery of error and control messages that are very important for the functioning of internet. By hearing the error control, error and control messages, we should not get confused with error control mechanism we discussed earlier in other modules. Because ICMP does not provide any reliability. It only indicates certain classes of failure and configure information, not the error control mechanism we discussed in other modules. There are two versions of ICMP. Internet protocol has two versions. One is version 4 and version 6. ICMP version 4 works along with IPv4 and ICMP version 6 works along with IPv6. Next is ICMP message type. As per the university Question paper, this is an important question and it is a repeated one. Here we are supposed to learn nine different type of messages. First one is destination unreachable. This means that a subnet or a router could not deliver an IP packet. Second message, time exceeded. It means that the time to leave field in IP packet has hit the value zero. This can be because of a congestion that exists in the network. The value is about to hit zero means the packet is about to drop. This is to be informed to the source machine so that it can resend the packet. And next time when the packets are being sent from the source machine to the same destination, it can also increment the time to leave field value. Third is the parameter problem. It means that an invalid value exists in the header field. So this cannot, it cannot be, the packet cannot be routed to the correct destination. Source quench. It's a message to the source machine saying that it should reduce the speed at which the packets are being produced. If the source machine produces packets at this rate, it can lead to congestion. So this can be a warning message to the source machine. Redirect. Redirect message means a router has received a packet which was traveling on a wrong route. So we can send a redirect message to the source machine so that it can route the packet correctly. Next is echo request and echo reply. Echo request and echo reply indicates that this message is being sent to check whether a mission is alive and reachable. On, upon receiving an echo request, the mission can reply as yes, I am alive. Next is timestamp request and timestamp reply. This is mainly used for measuring the network performance. Upon receiving an echo request, a mission can timestamp the time on the packet and reply. So 
the packet arrival time and the packet deliver and uh, delivery time both are recorded in the packet so that the source machine can take how much time it will take for a packet to reach the destination and come back next is icmb message format it consists of three field first is an 8 bit integer which indicates the type of the message type of the message we discussed earlier so for each message there is an integer corresponding integer to represent it so first 8 bit integer represents that then there is a code code is gives a detailed information about the message there are, then there is a 16 bit checksum the word checksum doesn't require any explanation for you but uh, we should note this includes only icmp checksum not the entire ip packet checksum if it is an error report if it is an error report the message format is first the header followed by 60, first 64 bits of the datagram that causes the problem this message format is also important so we should learn it next icmp version 6 in addition to error reporting and signaling icmp version 6 have neighbor discovery option router discovery option and managing handoff function that is for mobile ip version 6 so these are the three additional features of icmp version 6 so that is the end of first session thank you for listening